The fifth annual American Indian Cultural Art Fest was recently held on the 900-year-old grounds of the Aztec Ruins National Monument. Free to tourists and locals, the Art Fest took place beneath the trees in the picnic area of the park, where potters, weavers, and jewelry makers demonstrated their craft in 100-degree heat. You're watching the Local News Network, brought to you by Pops Truck and RV Center and the Big Idea Makerspace at San Juan College. I'm Haley Upsell. The artists work quietly at tables in the shade. Florinda Vallo is a fourth generation potter from the Acoma Pueblo, the oldest continuously inhabited community in the United States. I take this little dish here and I insert it there and that will give me the base for the beginning of my pot, which kind of will look like this, I invert it. And this is the finished product. All I have to do is let it sun dry where this one is, is still in the raw stage. It's better you can see where I added on the layer. And once I finish doing that, I will simply get a straight edge, sort of a, a two that I can use to scrape off the excess clay, making that blended part disappear. While Florinda makes the pots, her husband Leland Vio paints them with a yucca leaf and Spanish ink. He was working on a commissioned wedding vase. On all my pottery work, it's relined twice or three times. So to make sure the paint stays um, directly even on the pottery. So when you look at it, the whole pot is evenly painted with the, the color and there's no uh, spaces or anything that are given away from it. So I simply, again, put my brush in and I simply Pull it towards me. Kind yeah, of keep the, the pottery still as possible and I simply just pull the brush towards me. Artists from various nations in the Southwest, including Zuni, Hopi, and Laguna, come to the fest each year to show and tell and to sell their unique pieces. One of the first stages of uh, making a bracelet that I'm making I hand carved, <clears throat> this is melted scrap silver into a mold that I create from a uh, tufa stone. You can do it out of sandstone or sand cast. This particular one is tufa cast. And, and then you lay all the designs out on it. So that one is not finished yet. And when it's finished, it's going to look kind of like that. Roy Katie is a weaver from T Snow's Paws in Arizona, where he raises Navajo sheep to create his vegetable dyed yarns. I am starting a horse cinch weaving for a horse. And if you know anything about the, the cinches, it's what it's the belt that goes around the belly bottom that holds the the, the saddle in place. So I'm just barely starting it, so I'm just making my rounds back and forth using just this one color, which is black. And then later, after I've woven about a couple of inches, then the design will start. The American Indian Art Fest is made possible with help from the Chaco Culture Conservancy, a nonprofit organization that supports education, interpretation, and funding for the Aztec National Monument and Chaco Cultural National Historical Park. To learn more about this and other stories, go to farmingtonlocal.news. Thank you for watching this edition of the Local News Network. I'm Haley Upsell.